My name is Barry. In the last video, I told you that I was going to try to do uh, some video tutorials on video production. As I learned, I would try to help teach y'all or whoever's listening um, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and if it worked for me, if it didn't work for me, what's the best route to go from an amateur's uh, point of view. Um, right now, I'm only, this is the, only the second video. The first one was really simple and talking about my JVC uh, HD cam, uh, video cam that I, I ordered the other day from Tiger Direct. Um, today's tutorial is going to be on lighting and um, the stuff that I actually used. I briefly spoke about them before in the last video, but uh, I will now take off the camera and you know, from the tripod and show you exactly what I've done in this little uh, bedroom that I have set up as a studio. So I'm going to go ahead and take the camera off right now. Let's see. There we go. Alright. So, as you can see, I have uh, quite a bit of lighting in here. And uh, today I went out and I bought uh, 100, watt light, 100 watt light bulbs and I'm not so sure if that is exactly what I should have done, but anyways, that's what I did. But this right here is the Bed and Bath Beyond light stand that I bought. And as you can see, it's like a, a octopus light stand where you have one, two, three, four, five, not eight, but five lights. And as you can see, the arms will move up and down like this in any which way you want it to go so that is a very big plus in the um, production for me anyways um, you can see I've got another one over here each of those stands from Bed Bath & Beyond were like $19.99 now I have these little things which are made um, I bought them from Lowe's and I believe they're mainly made for like construction workers who are working late at night or something like that that need more light in, in, in houses and uh, outside and you can see they're like little clamps so I have those and I've got three of them here um, this is my tripod which is uh, $20 from Walmart or something but uh, these clamps these light clamps I don't know if you can see it very well they're not but they are I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I spent five dollars a piece on them, and then you know the light bulb. So, as you can see, my setup is very simple, um, nothing fancy at all, but it is definitely something that is uh, affordable. And so far, from what as I can tell, it's very usable. Um, it's user friendly as far as cheap and as getting started into video production. Um, soon I will be doing some uh, other shows, like uh, I think I'm going to do a coffee thing, uh, the cold coffee talk or something like that with a friend now in the Shaco Bottom. Um, where's the Shaco Slips? I'm sorry, the Slip. Uh, I'll be doing that, and then I'm also going to do a cooking show soon. So there's going to be a couple of little things I'm going to try to throw together sooner or later. Uh, the cooking show is going to be like in the summertime, it's going to be geared towards nothing but barbecue. So, uh, you know, using the grill, grilling as well as just a not barbecue. But those are the things I plan to do. And you know, of course, in the summertime, you're outside on the deck. You're not going to need a whole lot of lighting. Lighting, so that would probably be mute. But in a coffee shop where the light is dim and stuff like that, this setup would be really nice to have. Not to mention, I think I'm going to do another show with a couple of friends that uh, are going to be like tech reviews. Um, so I'll probably do that here in this little area, which this light will probably be, you know, it might be a little too much because I'm feeling the heat right now. But, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. But I hope that you can see where I'm going with my lighting situation and, and if that hopefully will help you. Now, I know the professionals out there will say, well, that's all wrong and all that stuff. But if it works for me, why is it wrong? So, hopefully if it works for me and you try it out and it works for you, who's to tell us that it's wrong, right? Anyways, until the next time, see you later.